What's up, Internet? It's the Jerry Crew, yeah! We are the Jerry Crew. We post every week, or at least we try to. Welcome to Mystical Noodles! Yes! What's the noodle of the day? We don't have any noodles, do we? You're a good noodle. You're a noodle! If you notice that my one eye looks like it's right out of the black swan, it's cause it is. No, I got really sick, and mm -hmm. um, I popped mm -hmm. a blood vessel in my eye, so that's why half of my face looks like it belongs to a Sith Lord. The neighbors got to hear her throwing up. Yeah, every, they did. Every five seconds. It was great. We got complaints. And if you're wondering why I have Danny DeVito on my shirt, it's because Cassidy got me this shirt for my birthday. Yay! We're coming back at you with another dream video. Yeah. As if you needed any more of that. Anyway, let's jump into it. We'll see if we'll get more complaints making this video. We, we usually do. When I was like about maybe like six or seven years old, I had this dream where um, I was at my grandma's house and it was also like in this fantasy world, but it also was my grandma's house. I don't know. Dora and Diego from Dora the Explorer and Go Diego Go. But basically... The whole premise of the dream was that um, Dora and Diego were like king and queen of two different kingdoms, and they were at, then they <laughs> were at, eight. I know, but they They're were eight at, years old. They were at war with each other. They talked to monkeys. Like it was a big deal, Kate. Like you gotta understand, it was a big deal. Like everybody had to choose a side of like if they were gonna fight for Dora or if they were gonna fight for Diego. I fight for Diego. Dora <laughs> sucks. Swipe for the fox. It's always like inching closer. If she thinks going like this is gonna stop him from stealing her shit. Never I walk done. down the streets of Chicago every day. People, if someone's gonna rob you, they're gonna do it. Walk down the streets of Chicago at night and, and see if doing this stops people from robbing you. For my grandma's neighbors, but I played with the neighbor kids and, you know, they're, um, and we, like, we're all like, you gotta choose either Dora or Diego, and I'm like, I can't pick a side, I'm impartial. Like, at the end of the dream, there was, like, a frickin' full-on battle going outside. <laughs> a battle? Between Dora and Diego, and I remember, like, hiding in, like, this garage that was at my grandma's house, and I was, like, looking out the window, like, and then Dora's just, like, <laughs> and I was just, like, Oh, she was like, seize her! And, like, in the end, like, I could never choose a side. So I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Because so. she's a Libra. Any dreams you'd like to share with the class? I mean, our subscribers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> so there's this one dream I had back in the day. Um, sometimes I still think of it. it it's a rather, <laughs> it's a rather short one. It's also one that <laughs> has a lot of issues. I remember there was this one place I used to go called Enchanted Castle. Yes, <gasps> I used to go to Enchanted Castle all the time. Maybe I ran into you. You might have, honestly. I was there a lot. We've crossed paths several times. We didn't even know. I had this dream because I went to Enchanted Castle a lot. I go to Enchanted Castle in this dream with like a bunch of friends that weren't actually my friends because I didn't fucking know them. It's fake Pop friends. Up, I yeah, they're <laughs> fake fans. They just show up, your brain just makes them just so you have someone do something Because with. I didn't have any real friends to put in there. Essentially, I uh, was there with them, and mm -hmm. those fucking assholes actually went off without me because I'm the extra person. They, they go off without me, right? I'm just like, well, where are all my friends? I'm like, what, where are they? And out of the corner of my eye, I see some like green light. And, and I look and there's this door with green light shining through like all the crevices. I go in there because I'm just like, very mysterious. The door just slams behind me and I'm just like, Oh, no. And it's this pure green room. Like, green, like, fluorescent green lighting everywhere. All of a sudden, I start hearing... <laughs> I start hearing maracas. I just heard, like... I just start hearing out of some sort of speaker system, um, some lady singing, Sally the camel has one hump. Sally the camel has one hump. Sally the camel has one hump. So, I Sally ride boom 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 boom. Yeah, there was no end to the song. It was on a loop because it it keeps playing. And I look up, and I see this camel, 
this animated camel, and it was shaking maracas. And How? It, it was Sally the camel. Like, like her lip was like doing some sort of like weird like. like <laughs> yeah. As fucking like Sally the camel song is playing from the speakers from hell. So, and I'm just like staring like, oh my god. I never went to Enchanted Castle again. Uh, so I had this dream, like I loved the dinosaurs and like prehistoric <laughs> creatures. <laughs> like when I was a kid, I mean I still do, but like I was really into it when I was a kid. I was like half asleep, I was like kind of sleepwalking and I wanted like a glass of water. For some reason I went in my parents' bedroom. My dad's like sleeping. My dad rolls over and I was like, his face was like a saber-toothed tiger's face. <laughs> I was terrified. I was like, what happened to my dad? I ran downstairs, and apparently I, I was sleepwalking too, so and this will come up later. In the dream, my dream state, I ran downstairs, and I went and ran like into my basement, because that was like our toy room. There were like... Um, these Native Americans <laughs> down there. It was like this older guy and he was showing these younger kids how to ride velociraptors. There were velociraptors in my basement and you had to ride them otherwise they were gonna fucking eat you. And I'm like standing there and I'm like, oh my god. He comes up to me and he just like pats me on the shoulder and he's like, you must learn to ride the dinosaur. That makes sense. I don't remember getting eaten in this dream, so I guess I rode the dinosaur. I got out of my basement because I still wanted water. And I went back upstairs, and I was more terrified of my dead <laughs> with, <laughs> with the saber-toothed tiger face. Yeah. Actually, the saber-toothed cat, because saber-toothed tigers are not, they're not technically tigers. Why, why the technicalities, cats? Because I used to get really upset when kids would call them saber-toothed tigers, and I'm kind of upset with myself that I'm Fucking calling them loser. that. I went into... You know, my, my garage to get like a thing of water. But my dad woke up early, like, for work, and he came in, and I had to hide from him because I was terrified. Is he? Had, he still had? Cause, yes, he still had it. So I was like, oh my so god. So he went all day at work with. No, it was like early in the morning. Any, oh, okay. It was like five in the morning You'd or four thirty in the anyone morning. Anyone at work would point it out. I, <laughs> I hid in the garage behind some stuff. And I just am like watching him. He just opens up the door and he just, you know, he's just getting ready for work. <laughs> he's but he's got this saber tooth cat face on. And then he just leaves. And then in real life context, apparently I slept walked and my mom woke up and went in my room and I wasn't in there so she freaked out. And she's looking around the house and apparently she was gonna call the police because she thought I was missing. And then she went in the garage and saw that I was sleeping in the garage. Oh, your dad was simply just getting ready for work. Like of course he had a saber cat tooth tiger. I don't even know what you want me to call it. A saber tooth cat face yeah. which i'm sure his boss would have a lot to say about why can't you be more like chelsea and have a human face why can't he you wasn't be doing anything he was just getting ready for work Funnily enough i had something similar this is just a tag on i was on vacation to cancun mexico when i was like really young so i had a dream there where i was in the suite that i was in and i was on the um little balcony thing that we had yeah there, and um, this was part of the dream. I was on the balcony thing, you know, it was a bright sunny day. Yeah. In Cancun, Mexico, you know, those are always just supposed to be relaxing and nice. I was on fucking vacation. Mm -hmm. I go and I like open the sliding doors to go in. And I see the, <laughs> the back of my mom. She's sitting on the couch watching TV. Then I tap on her shoulder because she's not answering me. She turns around and her face is a wolf. I was just like, Oh man, mom, what a big mouth you have, and she's just like, the better to eat you with. <laughs> I love when we both had dreams where our parents all of a sudden got animal faces. I mean, these dreams kind of go together. Oh, okay. It, it both has to do with, like, Blue's Clues. I had two Blue's Clues ones, different nights, uh, but I had, like, you know, an obsession with Blue's Clues. I had just learned what the word animated meant, and so when I learn a new word, I like to use it. I had a dream where all of the fucking utensils, or whatever you <laughs> want to fucking call them from Blue's Clues, were in my house, and I didn't invite them. They were just, they just were there. fucking there. And I go over to the pail. It has this big smile on its face, and I'm just like, seems friendly. I go up to 
him slash her, not sure what the gender is, I'm not gonna assume it's gender. Was it like, don't hug me, I'm scared friendly? He was just smiling! Oh! And, and I was just like, hey, I know what you are. You're animated. Uh, the smile, like, quickly just went, like, and it started chasing me around my house trying to kill me. A lot of your dreams end with some random object or being or creature trying to kill you. The other one that goes with the Blue's Clues one. It still hurts my feelings to this day. <laughs> it still hurts your feelings? <laughs> yeah. Steve from Blue's Clues was um doing like a meet and greet of sorts mm -hmm. uh, with a bunch of children uh, like myself at that time. I had to be like four or five. This yeah. was a really early dream. He was doing a meet and greet and he was literally like greeting everybody. He, everybody. He gets to me and he's just like, I'm not doing a meet and greet with you because you didn't wash your hands. <laughs> oh my gosh! And he walked away. Like he didn't even give me like a chance to wash my hands. I could have gone to a sink. I was four. I couldn't watch Blue's Clues without looking at Steve and feeling, and feeling heartbroken. rejected. I felt heartbroken and rejected. Let me just really quickly say, she's mm. she, the, the night that she had this. Oh, this was a recent one. This was a recent one. But she called me up and she was just like, "Hey, I had this dream. It's amazing. I gotta tell you about it." And I was just like, "Hold on. Do you want to like make another like dream video?" Because I was like, "Hey, like." We should make another dream video because, like, the last one did really good and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And she was just like, yeah, we should. I want to tell you the dream, though, really quick. And I was just like, no. No, no, no. She made me wait. She was like, no. I was just like, don't tell me. I was just like, don't tell me the dream. And she's just like, but Kate, it's... It was the cra it. It's the craziest one I've had since the Alice in Wonderland dream, which is in the part one dream I'll video. i link in the description. She's been wanting to tell me for like a month now. I have, yeah, for like a month. And I keep solid telling month. her, I'm just like, wait until the video because I want my reactions to be authentic and real. I've never heard this one. You guys I'm are with you guys. Yeah. How about you tell us all? And she <laughs> starts the note off with, I, I had, had a dream. dream. The like morning I had it, like literally I woke up and I was like, I gotta write this down in my notes because it was like, why I'm did you have to? Because I knew I was gonna forget, I needed I needed to get every detail no. of it because the details were hilarious and it was a long dream, like the and long crazy dream, like the Alice in Wonderland. I dream. mean, why did you put I had a dream? I have no idea. I, I was also half asleep when I wrote these notes too. So I was at this store. It was like a pet store, but also like Home Goods at the same time. And it was flooded with water. Like, there was just water everywhere, like, in the aisles, like, and everything. There were all these animals swimming around. Like, I'm assuming animals that were, like, at, that were, like, at the pet store, like, they were, you know, gonna be sold or whatever. You were in this dream. Yes, so, I, I, I recall hearing about that. Me, Kate, and some dream people were trying to figure out <laughs> how to defeat the drug-dealing cannibals that were in the what? pet store. <laughs> The drug dealing cannibal? She's not on any drugs. No. Like, none. And yet she has these dreams. We thought we were on to them until they decided to turn on us. <laughs> what did they do to t turn on us? <laughs> the cannibals started to eat many of the dream people's faces in front of us. What? <laughs> Can't. I told you this dream was insane. But I didn't think it was gonna escalate like that. Normally your dreams like start off like like this, but then like they increasingly grow. No, more this and more. one was no, hard this hitting. one starts off with Safari Store cannibals eat faces and <laughs> deal drugs. Kate and I got spooked. <laughs> oh I kept being followed by a stingray that worked for the cannibals. <laughs> How? Question mark. I don't know, but he did. <laughs> We distracted the stingray and it lost us. Okay. Then we found a bunch of baby animals and decided to take them home. It was a baby buffalo, like an American bison, um, a baby horse, a baby donkey, and more. I don't remember what the other ones were, but there was other animals that we decided to steal. Just as we collected our baby animals, we knew that the cannibals were coming back to eat more people's faces. <laughs> you know, as they do. Me and Kate had to get out of there with our animals. 
Apparently, Jewel, our friend who also makes videos with us on occasion, she was in the stream too. Apparently, Jewel was at the store too, but we lost her because she got distracted and wandered off <laughs> to a different place in the store. <laughs> That's exactly what that fucker would do too. Jewel called Kate and was freaking out. Kate yelled that, that Jewel needed to get out of the store now, in all caps, and not wait for us, and that we'd meet her somewhere else. Jewel, I would yell at Jewel. Jewel kept wanting us to stay behind, and we kept telling her where the exits were, and kept talking her through how to escape, but we couldn't go back. Okay, so we were on the phone with Jules, and we were telling her, get the fuck out! And she kept wanting us just to come back, like, with her. And we're like, no, you need to get out and meet us outside. No, Jules, are you fucking crazy? There are cannibals and a stingray that's their <laughs> henchmen. I don't remember what happened to her. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Jules. We don't know. We don't know what happened to her. Kate and I got into Kate's car with our baby animals. <laughs> I was hungry. I remembered there was Pizza Hut in the fridge at my house, but I didn't feel like going back. So me and Kate went someplace to eat, and then we weirded the people out there at the restaurant, and then we left. How did we weird them out? Our dream people team. Apparently, it was a team of dream people. Like, we were on a team, like, to beat the drug-dealing cannibals, I guess. Our dream people team met up with us on a school bus and asked us to get on with them, so we did. We needed to escape the cannibals who'd surely be after us soon. After we got on and drove a little bit, we got pulled over by cops. Who was driving the bus? <laughs> we were afraid that it was the cannibals dressed as cops. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> but instead, it was another bus driver with the police. Because this is my favorite part of the dream. She stood at the front of the bus and held up a rubber spiky ball from a claw machine. And she said... SOMEONE LITTERED ON MY BUS! <laughs> SOMEONE POISONED THE WATER HOLE! We were all over her shit. We all got off the bus and decided to walk with our animals. So, so wait, like what? Was that her bus that we stole? <laughs> and all she cared about was the rubber spiky someone bowl that littered someone on. littered on there? And then we were just like, well, yes, we're going on foot. I'm so confused. I gave her a dirty look when I passed her. As, as you usually do. Have fun with your animals, she said snidely. Oh, I will, I said in reply. <laughs> What's funny, too, was that I thought I was being so sassy. I was like, oh, yeah, I will have fun with my animals. Then we got to my house, and there was, like, a really nice neighborhood zoo around my house. It was weird. All of a sudden, like, a zoo just spawned around my house. How? <laughs> it just had happened. My, you live in Chicago. It was, like, my childhood house. My neighbors came up to see the animals and the baby buffalo wrestled with me which was stressful i like was having to hold it by the horns or something as it started like wrestling or something or, like doing like the headbutt thing that it does and literally the next sentence after that is that we knew the cannibals were on their way but all we could do was wait <laughs> is that the last line yeah that's the last line what the fuck and then you i just woke leave up it on a cliffhanger I have a part two of that dream so I, that I can know what happened. Did that dream disappoint? Honestly, did you? No, it didn't disappoint. I mean, I'm disappointed in you, but <laughs> <laughs> the dream was even weirder than I thought it would be because I've heard your dreams before. Yeah. And yes, they do always tend to feel like you're on drugs, <laughs> but this one is like a straight up LSD trip. I wish I knew what to say. Anyway, if you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe. Subscribe to see more of whatever the heck this was. Bye. Bye.